Hi everyone, time again to share something that I learned recently. Today we'll be discussing how to remap any key on your keyboard. So what drove me to research this and finally get it up and running was that on my laptop as well as my desktop keyboards, the right Meta or Super or Windows or whatever you want to call it key has been replaced by a function key for accessing multimedia functions on the keyboard. I wanted to get a second Super key back because it's useful as a mod key in my i3 window manager, but also useful of course in bringing up your main menu in many desktop environments or your activities overview in GNOME. So I thought to myself, who uses the menu key? It's supposedly for invoking the context menu, yet I know that I hardly ever use it. Time to repurpose it as the right super key. To do this, we need to open up a terminal. So let's open one up now. And I'll make it a little bigger for you. Now I'm doing this in an Arch based system whilst following some articles I found in the Arch wiki, but this method should work for you with any distro that runs Xorg. Xorg is required for this method to work. I'll also have the sites and commands referenced in this tutorial in the description down below. Now in terminal, the first thing we need to do is actually identify the key that we want to replace by getting its key code or key sim. Most guides will tell you to do this simply by typing in a program called XEV. But as you can see, if we run this, the output is very, very unwieldy and it's very difficult to interpret and decipher. Let's get out of that. And we'll clear the screen. In this article from the ArchWiki, it points us towards this command, which uses XEV still, but then pipes the output through an awk command that essentially eliminates a lot of the unnecessary information that's shown when you run the command. So let's try that instead. We'll copy and paste that command into here and we'll run it. Now you'll see that it brings up the same window as before, but you won't get a lot of the excess information. We then need to press the key that we want to replace with something else. An XEV will capture the information that we will need. In my example, the menu key, the key code that it shows is 135 and the key sim is menu. We'll need to keep that in mind for the next step. We can now quit this program. And you'll see as I quit the program, it also captured my normal super key, which is 133 super L. The next thing we need to do is open up a text editor. And we do that by simply opening something like nano or whatever text editor you prefer. In the text editor, if you're doing what I'm trying to do, we enter this line, key code 135 equals super R. If you're trying to do something different to what I'm doing, you'll need to identify the correct key code and know the key sim name of the key that you want the original key to be replaced with. So in my case, I'm replacing my key code 135 which is the context menu key with write super. That's essentially all we need in this file. Now the next step is actually quite important. We need to save this file in our home directory. So if I try and save that, I know that I'm already in my home directory because we never changed out of it when I opened terminal. We then save this file as dot capital X mod map. Enter to save, and we can now exit out of our text editor. This file needs to be specifically named this so that the utility xmodmap will recognize and read this configuration file when you first start xorg, that is when you first boot your computer. And that's pretty much it. We can test it by logging out and logging back in, or rebooting of course. Alternatively, you can run this command, xmodmap, and call up that file. However, before I do that, I'll just demonstrate that my current menu key is still displaying the context menu when I click on it. See that? Now, after I run this command, now if I press the context menu on my keyboard again, and you'll need to take my word for it, that's what I'm hitting, it will now function as a right super key. And for example, if I hit super, which is now the menu key, and enter, it brings up another instance of my terminal. You can let your imagination go wild and essentially remap any key you like to something else using this method. 
just add other remaps to this .xmodmap file that we created. There are just a couple of caveats to mention. Firstly, if you try and hot plug your keyboard by unplugging it and plugging it back in, it won't keep your custom key remappings. You'll need to reload the .xmodmap file using this command. Also, if you want to edit your file again, If for whatever reason you want to leave comments in this file, you need to use the exclamation mark and not the hash symbol as is commonly done elsewhere. And furthermore, as I said earlier, you shouldn't really need to use this command each time you log in, as the .xmodmap file should be read each time xorg is started when you boot into your system. If however this doesn't work, then of course you could place this command into a startup script. There you have it. I hope this has been of some use to you. Thank you so very much for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, leave them down below for me. Be safe and be well everyone. Bye bye for now.